Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my video. My name is Sick Creek and uh, today we will be looking at uh, some basic ship loadouts for uh, trading and for um, smuggling. Uh, as you can see I'm in my Cobra at the moment and I have changed my UI colour slightly uh, to a nice sort of uh, light blue theme. If you guys are interested in finding out how to change the UI colour in uh, Elite Dangerous, uh, just Google it because it's pretty simple, but if you really want I can uh, make a quick tutorial for it as well. But uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, so the other thing is I will be uh, showing you a website which makes it very very easy to search exactly where to find specific parts for ships and uh, where to buy certain ships and where to buy certain trade goods and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, um, if we go to Starport Services, Outfitting, I'll have show you what my ship has got equipped to it at the moment. Um, at the moment I've just got a few pulse lasers just because I was doing a little bit of bounty uh, hunting slash rep grinding for the uh, Federation, sorry not the Federation, the uh, Imperial Army or whatever before. Um, so you don't want to equip any guns or anything to your ship if you're just doing trading, especially if you're doing trading in the Cobra because it is a fast ship and you probably won't really need to fight anyone um, and you can generally escape safety relatively easily. Um, you might want to put a chaff launcher or heat sink launcher as the utility mounts but you really don't need any weapons because they just uh, draw more power from your power plant and add more weight to the ship which isn't really needed. Because um, as you see, if I sell them my jump range goes up because there's less weight on the ship. Um, alrighty, so if we go to internal, I've just got the standard lightweight alloys. I've just got a D4 power plant, but um, if I had no shields and no, uh, sorry, no shields and no weapons, I could buy a D2 power plant and uh, still get away with things. Um, or maybe even a D3. D2 might be a little bit too, uh, uh, a little bit too uh, power insufficient for what I need. But uh, a D3 might have enough while still being quite a lot lighter. As you can see, equipping the lighter class um, components make your ship lighter and give you a higher jump range. So you'd want to equip the lightest and most efficient power plant. Uh, that your ship can house and that would still be enough to power everything except weapons and stuff which you probably won't have equipped for trading because you don't really need them. So thrusters, um, at the moment I have C4 thrusters, they're pretty decent um, however if you're really really worried about getting caught by people like the, the Cobra is a really fast ship like it's not, unless someone else is in a Cobra with better thrusters than you they're not going to catch you especially if you have a uh, A4 where is it? Power, sorry A3 power distributor um, it allows you to basically almost continuously boost and escape people so basically if you have an A3 power distributor it will recharge your shields as fast as possible if you do choose to equip shields and it will also allow you to boost quite quite continuously um, and because the Cobra is so fast no one will be able to catch you so you'd want to have the best thrusters possible and the best power distributor possible and a power plant that can be light while powering whatever you have fully deployed um, that's the available power, that's your deployed power and that's your retracting power. If I didn't have weapons and other modules um, that deployed power would be quite low and I'd be able to have a smaller power plant. Uh, and shield generator, I have a shield generator because I was doing a bit of bounty hunting before and a bit of smuggling. Um, it is recommended if you are smuggling to have a shield generator or if you're new to this game and you're not very familiar with piloting ships to have a shield generator because you will find you're bumping into things quite a lot and if people try and attack you you can take a bit of damage but for trading in the Cobra um, you can oops, don't want to stop that with anything um, 
with trading in the Cobra you want to have as much uh, storage capacity as possible so if I was doing pure trading no smuggling in this ship I would, where is it, buy a 16 capacity cargo, rapid swap, uh, cargo rack and swap that out with the shield generator to get the most cargo capacity possible and uh, I would also replace this frame shift drive interdictor with another cargo bay sensors um, again if you're just doing trading I would just have this at the cheapest and smallest class so like a class 1 D or something that would probably be the smallest and lightest sensor suite that you could equip um, and it would basically increase your jump range allowing you to jump further distances and shorten down the amount of travel time it takes you to get to places. The fuel tank that's in this uh, ship is pretty decent if you want you can add like a second one if you're doing like a rare goods trading and a fuel scoop because that will allow you to travel super super long distances without having to dock quite often but uh, just with pure trading yeah you pretty much just want as little as possible as much cargo space as possible best thrusters the best power distributor the smallest life support that you can get which is uh, I think a D3 it's the lightest increase your jump range over the standard one and that's about it if you were doing smuggling though the only difference that you'd want is you'd want to have maybe just two weapons just to sort of fend off pirates or other people who might attack you. Um, you definitely want a shield generator of some sort and a upgraded power plant to supply power for your weapons and upgraded shield generator. But uh, for the utility mounts you'd probably want to have a heat sink launcher and a chaff launcher. Heat sink launcher will allow your ship to dissipate heat when you launch a pod um, when you're activating silent running which is what I'm doing here. Silent running. When you do that, uh, your, your heat increases inside the cockpit and uh, it will eventually damage your ship. So you have to use the heat sink launcher to keep the, your heat signature down. And the chaff launcher is very good for interrupting people's scans on you. So if you're heading into a system, you get a scan, pop your chaff launcher because it will uh, basically stop people from scanning you for about 10 seconds and hopefully give you enough time to dock and uh, get out of their scan essentially and that, that's just for if you're doing smuggling um, now the website I'm going to quickly show you is rogi.co.uk slash elite dangerous I'll put a link in the description um, basically it's like a google for, for elite dangerous you can go to help guides ships equipment factions but there's all like different subsections of the website but basically if you're using it to find equipment you go to equipment um, select what you want. So let's say we want to find a uh, the best thrusters we can for our ship, which is the Cobra. You go to internal. Then we want to find a uh, where is it? Thrusters. Maybe it's not in this. Well, maybe it's. Uh, Open sub, oh, it's a subsystem, sorry, not an internal. Yeah, so you go to thrusters, boom, there you go, and it will tell you what class and uh, what uh, will basically tell you, it'll tell you what sort of classes and stuff are available, how far away they are, how much they cost, and etc. So, what we would do is we'd because this is the search parameters down here, we go into here, go into our map. We're in the uh, Muhorology system. But since that's really hard to type, we can just type as rail. And let's see, we'll search within 100 light years of as rail. And we want to buy a class, uh, I think it's a class 4, but we'll just double check. Because you want the highest class possible for your ship. Oh, basically the highest class that your ship can possibly take. Um, as smaller class uh, fittings or equipment on a larger ship will not be as effective. 
So yeah, see, so we can have a class 4 uh, thing if we want. So we want to find a class 4 thrusters within uh, 100 light years of Azrael. And there you go, so it gives you a list of places to get them, and we want probably the best ones possible. So, see there, there's a class 4A thrusters available at this system, at that orbital right there, so you can pop that in and fly there if you want. So, just copy that. And it tells you how much they cost, so 1,610,000 credits. So if we exit this, and we wanted to actually fly there, we'd simply just go to navigation, fastest routes, and just put in that uh, system. Go to the map, and it's at the orbital. We used to count orbital, then you just plot your route and go there. <clears throat> now, if you didn't have that website, you just wanted to find things the old-fashioned way. You just go into your map, go view map, and then we want to go by uh, economy. Get rid of everything except high tech and possibly industrial as well, but usually high-tech is the way to go. Let's get rid of everything high-tech. Then generally you want to filter it by population and just find something with a decent population. As you can see, there's a few stars that have a high population around here. 18.4 million, maybe. Like there's a few that have, you know, over a billion population. Let's put it down one more. This one here. Um, 50 million high tech system. Go there and go to the different stations in that system, and you'd more than likely find what you're after. But that's if you're not using this website, regu.co.uk. Also, this website can be used to find different ships. So if you go to ships, pick whatever ship you want so let's say we want to buy an anaconda and basically um, oh hang on, this is a ship calculator I don't think it's a ship thing. oh my bad maybe you can't actually find ships on here anyway there's quite a bit of useful information on this website um, and it, it'll give you like if you're wanting to try out uh, what kind of ship you want to buy next um, let's say I'm in the Cobra at the moment let's say I want to go what's the next ship up probably a uh, Asp Explorer 6 million credits to buy max cargo 128 tons boost speed as you can see the Cobra has a very high boost speed of 400 meters per second um, I can actually get that over 400 if I have um, max thrusters equipped and uh, no no cargo on board so those are rough sort of figures but yeah so you want to go by the ASP um, you can sort of like just see what different weapons and stuff can be equipped to your ASP and figure out what your uh, jump ranges, what your maximum cargo capacity is with different types of equipment already equipped to it before you even have to buy it. So you can already figure out how much a ship is going to cost you in a certain loadout before you even buy it, which is very handy. It lets you figure out how much money you need to save and whatnot. So really, really good website here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's just a basic quick explanation of... Uh, how to set up your ship for trading in Elite Dangerous. Um, as always, if you like the video, like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Uh, and just give me feedback on what you think about the video. If you want to hear anything in particular, let me know. Um, I'll be happy to make more videos explaining certain aspects of the game to the best of my understanding. Um, but in reality, yeah, there's it's a really big game and I guess there's only so much I can help you guys with, but uh, yeah, if you want to know anything in particular about this game, feel free to shoot me a message and I'll see what I can make in my next video. 
um, the basic idea with these videos is I want to make them very quick short tutorials because there's like a lot of long tutorials on Elite Dangerous I don't think everyone has like hours of their time to spend uh, watching very in-depth tutorials um, I guess if you have a decent hang of the game so far you have a look at a little quick tutorial just to give you an idea of what to do it might be a bit more helpful but uh, anyways thanks for watching my video um, have a good day